morning my friends from here in uh, Gaziantep and you can see with the uh, shop for Syrian cloth because here we are very close to Aleppo actually we are just 100 kilometers from Aleppo north of Aleppo and there are a lot of Syrians here as you well after everything that happens in Syria I guess a lot of uh, of Syrian live here a lot of of Syrian shops a lot of uh, if you get a lot of like Syrian shawarma, especially in the street where I, where I stay, there's a lot of uh, Syrian food, Syrian shops. But anyway, we're not here to talk about uh, about Syrian people living here in Gaziantep. I guess there are several millions of uh, Syrian people here in Turkey, but we are here to talk about Gaziantep. Gaziantep is famous for being. A food, a food capital in Turkey and uh, it's especially famous for baklavas it's supposed to be the best place in the world for baklavas so let's go to try some baklavas here in Gaziantep and then camera, before, camera, yeah. <laughs> and then before the baklavas let's go to have some lahmacun because uh, Gaziantep is also very famous for the lahmacun a kind of uh, like uh, Turkish style pizza with uh, minced meats and tomato sauce on it. Very thin, crusty, very good. So let's go for la Mahajun first, baklavas, and then let's explore a little bit the, the old city of Gaziantep. So, in here on the way, we pass by. Uh, that's a beautiful mosque, an ancient mosque, which used to be a, an, Armenian, an Armenian church actually. But now it has been transformed into a mosque. And I am in the modern part of the city now. And uh, there is a place for Lahmacun. I guess, uh, but it's, it's one o'clock, it's Friday. So that's why it's not very busy. I guess many people are uh, at the prayer. Uh, I hope the restaurant is open. Look at that. Oh, they even have different types. Oh, there is even an uh, Antep Lamajun. Okay, let's, let's see if we can have something. Hello. Lamajun? What? I can uh, eat there. Okay, very easy. One portion of the lahmacun of Kassiantep. Antep lahmacun. I've been waiting for a few days to film. I've been waiting for the good weather to come back. And now it's here. The wonderful sky of Anatolia. The wonderful blue sky of Anatolia. Always the here they always give the this kind of radish. I think it's radish. Something like radish. Really good. Everywhere they give you this. So you see that's the Gaziantep Lahmacun. Oh, it's parcel. So here comes the Gaziantep Lahmacun. Mm, it looks so good. Two, you see those two huge crepes? Uh, well, very thin pizzas with the minced uh, vegetables on it. And my iron, like always. So, how to eat this wonderful lahmacun? I guess let's put some uh, parcel. Maybe let's put just one of the. <laughs> just one of the radish I have left. Some lemon. Yeah. 
Let's roll it and let's eat it, guys. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> my Lamadrun, my cousin Tep Lamadrun. Mm. Very good. Very good. That was really, really excellent. Really fantastic Lama Jun. Okay, now let's go for the, the big show. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, the most important, the baklavas. The best baklavas in the world. So for the Lama Jun, I paid like 30 Turkish Lira, which is about two euros. Now, baklava, the best baklavas in the world. That's something. Eh? Always a lot of construction going on in Turkey. It's a country with a lot of uh, demographic growth. Oh wow! And this is. Krema, sachun, hmm? Okay. Shemiet. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, and, and, and this is what? Urmalı kaday. Okay. Can, can I have? Like one of these, one of these, one of these, and a piece of this also. One. Yes, w one, 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 one. one. Eh? I can sit. Okay. Thank you. So I have to sit. <laughs> you even have tables here. Wow! Fantastic. Wow, it looks so good. <laughs> Look at that, guys. And they even give me a fork and knife. Oh, fantastic. Huh? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. And I'll have a G also. So let's try small fork, small knife for the baklavas. So I think he said, Look at that. He said, This one is double pistachio. This one I don't know, it's, but I don't remember the name, but it's a specialty from, from the city as well. This one is said with mussels, so I wonder if there are really mussels inside. And this one looks good. <laughs> so I don't know. Let's try to start with the double, double, double pistachio. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I don't think she will be Look at that! Oh my God! There's so much pistachio inside. Mm. 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 That's really, <laughs> that's really something. I guess I don't need sugar in my tea. <laughs> wow! Let's try the muscle. What's inside? It looks like there is some white thing inside that could be the muscle or maybe um, something else. Mm. 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 Oh, that's even better. It's very buttery. Oh, honestly, it's awesome. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome. Look at that, guys. This looks like actually the flying saucers. Um, yeah, somehow maybe I think this maybe this looks like a scallop. I don't know. Let's try the two other ones. Let's try this one. Look at all the pistachio inside. Oh my god! Look at that. <laughs> It's really 
divine, I would say. It's really hard to describe the experience. So amazing. And let's try the last one. Which has this white thing also inside. As you could see, a lot of pistachio. Oh. to describe the experience. It's really, <laughs> it's at least for me the best baklava I ever had, that's for sure. Look at those. What a beauty, all the, all the pistachio. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'll finish eating this and see you for the rest of the video. So the shop is called Guliolu. It's not so far, it's in the modern part of the city, but it's not so far from the old city. It's, it's within walking distance, basically. Okay, now let's head back to the old city, to have a, a walk in the old city, to show you the lovely old city of Gaziantep. So for the baklavas, actually I paid 40 Turkish lira, so maybe like two dollars and a half. And the guy uh, gave me a book, also a small book, explaining uh, things about the shop. So the shop Gulu, Gulu, Gulu Olu, uh, is uh, 150 years old. And, uh, and it explains also that... Um, yeah, basically Gaziantep is the main city producing baklavas in Turkey. So that's why it's the center. Because it, it produces most of the baklavas. Here is the fortress of Gaziantep. It's funny, it looks very much like, uh, well, in a smaller scale, but it looks very much like uh, the one in Aleppo. Similar stones, similar shape on the, on the top of a similar hill. And actually, many buildings in the old city, the minarets, the old houses, they, you can see really that uh, uh, it's, it's linked, the culture here is linked to, to Aleppo, basically, because uh, it's similar architecture, very similar architecture. All the ancient buildings uh, in here, in Gaziantep, are very similar to the, to the ones in Aleppo. And obviously the borders are, uh, it's a modern thing to have those uh, hard borders. Nice old minaret up there, and I like also all the small canals. So all that running down, running downhill is the melted, melting snow basically. You can see that today it's very warm, and the snow is melting a lot. <laughs> that was a Syrian family. You can quite easily recognize the Syrians here in uh, Gaziantep, uh, often with the way the women dress. So you can see a beautiful uh, old house. It's funny with the stones, black and white, it looks almost like a Damascus architecture. <laughs> Look at that. So that's a Han also. Uh, because Gaziantep was a big, uh, big hub in the Silk Road as well, so it's also... The old city is full of uh, Hans, like, uh, like Aleppo was. Like Damascus was a little bit less in Damascus, but here yeah, Aleppo and uh, Gaziantep are two big hubs on the Silk Road. So that's uh, an old uh, Han, an old uh, hotel of, uh, of the time of the Silk Road. Okay, let's leave the fortress behind us. Let's climb on the hill to have a view over the city before going down the hill to the Coppersmith Bazaar. <laughs> it's funny, I was here two days ago and this obstacle was, uh, was way higher. But it was a way to, to, to walk on the side. But apparently now 
Uh, there is no more way, but anyway, you can just go on top of the obstacle. Yeah, basically, that was like almost one meter high. And uh, so it's melting fast, very fast. Balcony. And you can see here all the old, uh, that's an old uh, gas house from Gaziantep. Very, very typical big walls, big stone walls, and this beautiful door. Wow, very beautiful. And the minarets there, beautiful as well. And the little girl, lovely as well. Look at this place. A beautiful mosque, but let's go up, up the hill. And you can see the Turkish flag on the top of the hill. So what's, yeah, what's funny is the basically the, on this hill you have an old city, but a part of old of the old city that is not not restored, that is still a raw. So it's very very interesting. And uh, and just down the hill you have the where we will go after. You have the bazaar, the beautiful Coppersmith bazaar, with all the. Beautiful stars, everything. Everything looking nice for the tourists. Here you have the flag and the mosque as well. And the flag up there. And that's something very weird also here. Because you have this very small neighborhood which is completely destroyed. I don't know if it's destroyed because they want to build something new afterwards. But uh, it looks almost like a Syrian uh, landscape here. Yeah, it really looks as if the war uh, came all the way to here, but I don't think so. I mean, there is still the war in uh, in Idlib. I was actually arrested on the way from uh, from Adana to here. Well, arrest me, arrested. The army stopped me and they asked me some questions. They had like big guns and they were hiding their faces. But I was lucky I hide my camera before before meeting them, so. Because they were really worried that I, I, if I was filming them or not, but I didn't have my camera. Yeah, they just, but I think it was, it was when I was passing by not so far from Idlib, where the war is still going on. But yeah, except that, I don't think the war reached here, but look at that. It really looks like uh, as if the war came here. So from this hill, you can see that actually Gaziantep is a very hilly city. You see hills everywhere. So just down this hill is the, is the old, uh, the old part of the old city with all the shops and the narrow streets. It's very strange also because it's very close to the oh, it's very close to the uh, touristic center. So everybody can see here and see that. I don't know. I guess they're gonna build something new. So I don't think the war is here. I have no idea. Maybe if someone knows why. Uh, this area of Gazetep is completely destroyed. Just say it in the comments. Nothing to see here. Okay, let's go down to the Coppersmith Bazaar. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go down to the Coppersmith Bather to finish this video. It looks like completely another world. Because I mean, most of the you know Turkish cities are well. Uh, it's new buildings, well, or uh, well preserved things. Everything is well. Uh, everything looks good. So it's really uh, strange to walk in an area like this. Just down the road, we are already in the Coppersmith Bazaar. Bazaar! With all the noises of like cling cling cling! People carving copper. Here is the beautiful Coppersmith Bazaar of Gaziantep. So he's carving uh, something. I don't know the English name. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. They are doing the things right in the bazaar. Doing it. They are carving it, selling it at the same place. Very nice. I think the guy was hoping to find uh, someone who spoke English to to talk to me, but uh, we could not find anyone. Let's go around this way. And bells and wow, that's a magical bazaar. <laughs> now it's more wood, wood and spices, and soap. We are close to Aleppo, so it must be some soap. I don't know if it's soap from Aleppo or not, but, uh, but there is soap. Oh, and another one guy doing his things. Another oven for uh, metal, metal things. And the Turkish, the beautiful tea sets. The very, very Turkish, all those tea sets. Well, yes, we are ready. So this small bazaar is uh, is small, <laughs> and uh, I guess we are already exiting. And, uh, just go this way. <laughs> to see all the dried uh, vegetables. And yeah, of course, I told you in Adana I was going to do the video for the Lukums in here in Gaziantep. But at that time I did not know that Gaziantep was the capital of Baklava. So then I did a Baklava video here. Look at this beautiful uh, door. 
Yeah, so I did the baklava video here. And uh, look at that. Yeah, and I'm gonna do the... Oh, look at the lukums there. Yeah, and I'm gonna... So then uh, I did the baklava video here. And I'm gonna do the lukums later. In another city. If there is no... It's another speciality. But I guess Turkish delights are all about uh, uh, lukums and uh, and baklavas. So I guess I did the baklavas, I just have the lukums left. Look at all the dried. <laughs> so I guess from the bazaar of Gaziantep, uh, I guess that's going to be the, the end of this video in, uh, in Gaziantep, guys. And I will see you when I get back on the road on the way to Urfa this time. See you later, guys. Ciao.